All right, let's go straight. Let's start with top news and uh, let's start with our own Olympics. Before we talk about 2020, we'll have our own Olympics and uh, the thing has started well. The touch of national unity for the 20th National Sports Festival was in Abuja. In fact, at Asurok, where it was received by president of our great country, talk about President Mohamed Buhari, PMB. And the sports minister was there to present the touch alongside uh, the governor of Edo State, Godwin of Baseki, and the secretary to government of the federal Federation, talk about boss Mustafa and others. And at the end of the day, the president, uh, Mohammed Buhari, was full of praise for the sports minister, the energetic sports minister, Sunday Dari, who has been doing well for sports in our country. What a good way to start the journey of the National Sports Festival that will actually be taking place in Benin in ma between March and April. Tony, you saw the touch of unity at Asurok. Yeah, George, it was uh, beautiful. It, it was a very good sight you know, for us to behold. You know, seeing the president himself being very, very active, and indeed uh, with the governor and uh, also the sports minister, Sunday Dare, it was a very uh, good moment for everybody to know that indeed sports has really come back. And you know that uh, sports is a tool, George, that unites the country. You know, it was so apparent, very palpable, even at the occasion when we saw the minister and of course uh, the president, you know, lifting the torch. That's a touch of unity. That's how united. Nigeria has always been. And if there is one instrument that holds us together, George, it is that sports and it is that touch of unity. You know, it was, I felt really very good. And uh, indeed, remarkable also was the fact that the president himself recognizes that, yes, he has appointed a sports minister, a sports minister who knows, a sports minister who listens, a sports minister who has been doing well. And of course, according uh, athletes, you know, their respect, because according to him, the welfare of the athletes, you know, remains the best thing because without the athletes, there will be no sports. Exactly. So we say kudos to the Minister of Sports. That uh, the touch of national unity has started very well from Asurok, and we hope to have a wonderful sports festival in a do state. And the facilities are ready. Fantastic uh, uh, facilities we have at the Samuel Ugemudia Stadium. It has been remodeled by a do state government, so everything is moving according to plan. Talk about the national sports festival. So from our own Olympics, let's tell you that in basketball, the, the Tigers have already landed. Then the Serbia, the Nigerian contingent on the home front have left, uh, led by the vice president of Nigerian Basketball Federation, Babs Oguadis, and uh, the girls, they are said to do the country proud. But it's a tough one, <laughs> taking on uh, countries like USA, Mozambique, and uh, the whole Serbia will not be an easy one in any way. But I remember just two weeks ago, Tony said, go and mark my words that these girls will fire on all cylinders, and at the end of the day, they will land in Tokyo just like uh, the, the Tigers landed in Tokyo already. So we wish them the very best of luck. But before they left the shores of our country, like we told you on Friday, we caught up with them at the airport. Trust Post V crew, we're always there to get you all the exclusive interviews. We have a very short uh, window of camping in Serbia. Now, since most of them are in Europe, we reckon it's uh, faster and cheaper for them to nip across uh, to Europe. We have a camp for about three, four, about four, five days in uh, Serbia before the game starts on the 6th of February. This is not a tea party. Uh, this is the Olympic qualifiers. So, so the very, very best of the uh, best uh, come out to play. Um, we are in the group, as you're aware, with uh, uh, the US, Serbia, uh, Mozambique, and Nigeria. So. Um, we hope to pick a ticket to qualify and um, we're prepared to do that and we hope to qualify uh, from there for, uh, at the next Olympics. All right, from basketball last, let's take you to another sport where Nigeria is doing very well, and that is in wrestling, where our own Daniel Igali is holding sway. In fact, uh, Daniel Igali, they returned from Rome, where our own uh, girl talk about Odoya Adekore, he did very well. Uh, she has already qualified for the Olympics, and the one other lady that we're looking to qualify will be blessed in Oborodudu, and the opportunity to do so will be when the African Wrestling Championship takes place in Algeria. That will be from February 3 to 9. 
nine, and the Nigeria is sending a team of fifteen athletes to that one. And the, the target of Nigerian uh, Wrestling Federation is to ensure that other Nigerian wrestlers, at least two or three more, join Adekoroye in qualifying for Tokyo twenty. 20. Then from wrestling now, let's take you to handball, where support is equally coming. The governor of uh, Sokoto State, Amin Otambuwa, hosted the uh, officials of the Handball Federation of Nigeria ahead of the national championship on that 12 and 15 male and female championship that will be taking place in Sokoto. At least if Sokoto cannot hold any football event, they should at least hold handball. And we hope that uh, Tambuwa will take it from handball to other sports because Sokoto has been quiet when it comes to sports but I'm happy that something is coming out of Sokoto and uh, our friend uh, Dalla Dibako will welcome them equally when they come to handball because Dalla the former NBC DG is a consumer sports person and he happens to come from Sokoto State. All the good thing happening in Sokoto. I, I totally agree with you uh, and I must also tell you that um, there is no state that you know doesn't have anything good to offer when it comes to sports. It's just um, the availability of um, the various governors in embracing you know and using sports as a tool you exactly. know for development and empowering but before now the program. governors of Sokoto State has not embraced sports no, it's saying, good that Tabu Wal is no, doing we're, we're, it we're now we're saying the same thing you know <laughs> kudos to him you know um, uh, handball is a wonderful sport handball you know talking about um, under 15 and at this stage this were, 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 uh, this was a sport that batted um, somebody like um, Dr. Tony Aluko you know I, I, I listened to her story and them out of nothing today uh, she's a phd holder just through sports you know got scholarship played and represented this country so i believe you know that um, it's a good one coming from the state uh, grassroots level you know uh, locating these champions uh, from a very tender age and at the end of the day you know they will stay longer you know playing uh, um, handball and also representing the country well uh, back from Sokoto now let's take you back to Lagos and tell you that uh, the second digit Tinubu memorial symposium took place at Mobilaji Okoyatomo Indoor Sports Hall and it was a wonderful one our own Godwin and Nakena spoke on uh, the way forward for sports and the way to use sports to take uh, the youth out of uh, crime and all that it was really a wonderful gathering and uh, godwin and nakena did justice to that one you remember digitinibu was chairman of the lagos state sports commission he slept and died uh, january 26 uh, 2018 we continue to pray that his soul will rest in peace deji was a wonderful person and uh, it's good that this symposium is taking place in his memory let's hear godwin and nakena speak how time flies just like yesterday um, I hate to talk about DT in the past, you know, I, I believe um, he lives, as it were, someone who gave his all to humanity, someone who was um, approachable, reachable by everybody. Uh, I wish Nigeria can uh, have people like him. Um, what can we say? May God continue to rest his soul. Nigeria misses this young man. Sports in Nigeria misses. It's not just Lagos State, it goes beyond Lagos State. He was a perfect gentleman, a description of a quintessential gentleman. Yes, that was God in the Nevin Tony, Deji Memorial uh, Lecture. Yeah, George, um, I think uh, that Deji Tinibu, you know, wherever he is, he will be very, very proud of uh, his potent family, you know, because they have shown so much su support, you know, since he left us. And uh, indeed, like you said, Deji was a very wonderful person, you know, who touched almost lives, you know. He was always there. He was a consummate sports person. Even though if you listen to his story, he was not to be in sports, but at least that has always been his passion. And he showed it throughout his years. And uh, I think all we need to do is just to continue to pray that his soul continue to rest in perfect peace. But then I'm indeed very, very, you know, grateful, very appreciative of what his friends have done since he left us. And I think they are leaving a legacy that should continue so that at least uh, the name of Deji Tinubu will be, you know, somehow, you know, immortalized in the minds of so many people, knowing that a man came. It's not how long he lived, mm -hmm. but it's how well he lived. Yeah. Well, thank God that uh, Deji Tinubu did not uh, die in vain. He contributed positively to sports development in Lagos State, and that is being remembered. Good memorial lecture, the second edition, and we hope that it will continue in Dusted in the years to come. Yes, that's been top news. Let's take a break now. We'll come back. We'll talk about Genedroa and his contract. I hope you are enjoying Sports View.